Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and CarnateAdies.org. Today we're going to be continuing with Fallacy February, even though it's no longer February, looking at the fallacy of illicit contrary. Now, contrary is at least one of two statements being false. They cannot both be true, but they could both be false. In the case of Aristotelian categorical logic, the statements that fit this description are E and A statements. We should be able to see this by filling in the Venn diagrams. It should be clear that the X in the E statement is going to fall in the nothing area for the A statement and vice versa. So they cannot both be true. The problem is they could both be false. So the denial of either statement doesn't actually tell us anything about the other statement. The affirmation of one statement allows us to deny the other statement, but the denial of either statement doesn't give us anything. So, the following arguments would be fallacious. It is not the case that all S are P, therefore, no S are P. This is actually going to be a fallacious statement. Similarly, it is not the case that no S are P, therefore, all S are P. We cannot go from the denial of one statement to the affirmation of the other because they could both be false. They just can't both be true. That was illicit contrary. Also, today is contrary. Yesterday was existential fallacy Aristotle and the type token distinction. Tomorrow is going to be the illicit subcontrary and subcontrary. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at carnadies.org and stay skeptical, everybody.